All right, check it out. We are here in West Palm Beach, Florida, and we are getting ready to go on a trip. Yep. Where are we going? Guatemala. Guatemala. Okay, we're getting ready to pack for our trip to Guatemala. Now, if you're watching this video, you're either getting ready for a trip to Guatemala with Whole Project International, or maybe you found this video looking for tips on how to pack for a trip, or maybe you're like just caught in this dark YouTube hole and you've landed on this video. Either way, we're going to tell you how we pack for trips to Guatemala, right? Right. Now, first, before we get into the packing part, we're going to talk about the gear, because we recommend... Yes. If you're going on a trip with Hope Project, that you get all your personal items in your carry-on and your personal bag, right? We actually more than recommend it. We actually, it's, it's actually mandatory that all of your personal belongings are in your carry-on and personal item. Yeah, and some people hear this and they freak out and they're like, how could I possibly go on a week-long trip with just that? I need at least two check bags and this and that. We're going to show you how to do it right here, how we do it. And we just want to let you know yeah. that we go on longer trips than just six-day trips. Right. Um, we took all of our personal belongings in our carry-on personal item on a 15 trip day trip to Asia yeah. in three different climates. Yeah, so it was intense and we made it and we survived. So we know, we know how to do it. So we're gonna show you how to pack for Guatemala. The gear though, we got two different things, okay? Yep. For 10 years, we traveled internationally using a $10 duffel bag from Target. Yep. And that's what I'm going to be packing my stuff in today. It's literally a $10, 2007, Target edition duffel bag. I don't even know if you can buy this anymore. I don't even, I don't know. It's just a cheap duffel. Yep. Megan's got something a little different. Yeah, we, um, when we started traveling to Asia, we purchased nicer um, carry-ons. And so this is an Osprey backpack. Yeah. Um, it's an inexpensive piece of luggage. And so um, I like it because it had, it had opens, um, fully opens on the top. It's not on the top loading uh, backpack. And so um, that's why I like it, and it cinches down, and it's great, and it's it's legit. It's Osprey forty six, right? Oh, uh, forty six liter. Yeah, I it don't, is. Yeah, it is. it's forty six liter. So it's not like the yeah. giant one. It's not a huge trekking backpack. But this will fit in an overhead bin. It will fit in an overhead bin. That's the biggest thing. Okay. So we're gonna start packing for a trip to Guatemala with Hope Project International. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with my feet and work my way up because I'm putting shoes in here, and I want them to go in first because that's kind of dirty, kind of gross. And so what I have is two things that are gonna go on my feet during the trip. I have a pair of shoes to work in, okay? This is work shoes. When we're building homes, uh, when we're delivering food, when we're trekking up the mountainside. Yeah, something I wanna mention about work shoes is yeah. um, they need to have a good tread on them for yeah. Guatemala. The terrain is, um, can be slippery, yeah. slippery in that the ground is loose underneath you. Yeah. Um, and you just need to be have good, good, grip on the bottom of your good sure footing don't get like the pair of shoes you've been cutting the grass in for the last two summers and try to think you're just gonna wear those because it's just a mission strip right yeah they're gonna get gross you need something a little yeah. more sturdy yeah. a little stronger so i'm gonna do my shoes and then also a pair of flip-flops that i'm gonna wear around the guest house yeah. and i'm gonna pack those in there and then also my socks and let me say this about socks when socks uh as far as packing socks i pack a pair a day right plus one pair so seven pairs of socks for a typical whole project trip right and usually I would take seven pairs just like this and I would start by stuffing them in my shoes as I'm packing, but I'm trying something new this time. Okay. We were at TJ Maxx. Yep. I said I'm gonna check out the clearance section for socks. Okay. And I found 10 pairs of socks for $3.99. Right there, that's my pair a day plus a couple. Yeah. And it's tiny. So I got 10 pair here, it may work, it may not. You may have 10 old pairs, seven old pairs you're gonna pack. I'm just gonna pack this in here right so now. So fans starting with the shoes, I'm gonna pack a little differently. Um, I'm, pack, I'm gonna start with my toiletries on the bottom because my toiletries, I put them in a case like this. Um, ladies, if you are staying with us in Guatemala, the bathroom is gonna be um, down the hall from your room. And so you're gonna be taking your stuff to and from the bathroom every time you go to the bathroom. So if you're brushing your teeth or taking a shower or whatever, um, you're taking your belongings with you. And so I like to pack it in a case a case like this is like a cosmetic case that I got at TJ Maxx, unfolds wow. like this, has all my stuff in it, that's and that's just easy for me um, to take to the bathroom with me. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this in first. All right, my shoes, my sandals, my socks have taken up the bottom portion of one half of my duffel. On the other side, right beside them, the rest of that is going to be my shorts for the week, okay? And this is what I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring two pairs of shorts that I can work in, that I can build in, that I can sweat in, that I can get down with. Yep. And then I'm gonna bring two other pairs of shorts that I, they're a little nicer. I could wear like into town or at a restaurant and they're not covered in paint, they're not ripped. Yep. So two pairs of hardcore work shorts, two pairs of nicer shorts that I can wear in other settings. 
So I pack my underwear and socks a little bit differently than Sam. I like to pack them in a packing cube because um, sometimes when you're getting on the airplane, they do random security searches where someone searches your bag by hand um, at the gate. And so I feel most comfortable um, packing my undergarments in a packing cube like this. So that's how I pack them. Yep, as far as my undergarments, I have a pair a day plus an extra pair. I used to just bring an extra pair. Megan got mad at me, but this is it. It's seven pairs. And I got plenty of room, I'm gonna put them right in here on top of my shoes. So, I'm, my clothes are coming unfolded here, guys. I have two pairs of work pants and an extra pair of jeans that I'll bring for our work days. And I'll go ahead and put those in. All right, so now I'm, I've got about half the duffel full. Look at this, this thing is a beast. Uh, it's got plenty more room. Shoes, socks, underwear, and shorts. The next thing is shirts, and when it comes to shirts for me on a trip, there's a couple different things I'm going to bring. Uh, I bring long sleeve shirts to Guatemala. Uh, it's cool there. Also, we're working in elevation, and so we're it's up there and it's hot, and you can get burnt without even realizing how hot it is outside. And so I bring to work in, to build in, a long sleeve shirt, but like a like a like a dry wicking one or an athletic shirt, something long sleeve that isn't just thick cotton. I'm going to bring two pairs of that, two shirts of that style. And then I'm also going to bring four long sleeve shirts for the evenings and for days that we're out and about but not working, okay? And these I'll put on after I shower or, or we're just maybe heading into town or to a restaurant. So they're not going to get sweat in as much. They're not going to get as dirty. But I've got four long sleeve shirts and that's what I'm going to pack next. All right, for me, um, I'm going to go ahead and pack um, my work shirts. I've got four short sleeve shirts here that I'll wear on the days that we're working or not in town. And then um, I usually pack one outfit that is just a little bit nicer. Um, this is a tank top, oh my gosh, a tank top and um, a cardigan for the day that we go into Antigua um, and have a culture day just because it's a little bit nicer. Absolutely, I have something a little nicer as well. I have like a polo shirt. It is also an athletic type fit, so if I do sweat, it's going to wick off of me. I'm not going to be having these big old rings under my armpits or around my neck. It's a nice shirt in case we're in the church service or heading to a restaurant, like Megan said. And then I'm going to throw my other t-shirts for the trip. Now, I have my long sleeve work shirts. I have my long sleeve evening shirts. Uh, I'm also going to pack one, two, three, four, five shirts here, t-shirts. And they're going to fit right in my duffel. And this is a little bit overkill. But this is just in case we get totally rained on one day and my two shirts get destroyed in one day. Or if we decide that we're going to do a couple things that maybe weren't planned ahead of time. I need an extra shirt. I've got them, plenty of shirts right in there. Um, this is my pajamas. I bring three shirts and three pairs of pants for pajamas. Um, and I wear each um, pajama set twice. And that will fit in here. All right, Megan's getting her pajamas in there. I'm going to talk about pajamas a little bit. Because my last trip to Guatemala... I thought, I'm just going to wear shorts in the evenings. Get home, shower, have dinner, and I'll just hang out in a pair of shorts, like gym shorts, and one of my long sleeve shirts. I'm going to pack that now, but I've decided since that trip, I also need a pair of comfortable pants for the evenings, because there were a couple nights, Megan, it got cool. It's chilly. I bring a, just a hooded sweatshirt, a hoodie. Yeah. Um, I'll bring that to throw on yeah. in the evenings when I get when they get cold. It can get cold. It ranges from anywhere from 50 to 70 while we're there. And so I'm also throwing a long pair of nice comfy pants in there. And so I've got pretty much everything in my duffel that uh, is kind of the essentials of a trip. Shoes, socks, underwear, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, shirts, shorts, long pants. They're all in there. And look, I still have room in my duffel. I haven't even gotten to my personal item, my other backpack, the other thing I can bring, okay? And so, a couple little extras, I've got work gloves for the days that we're working, and messing with that metal and the tin and, and getting down to it. And I'm also gonna bring a hat. A hat is a great idea because again, we're up there, we're elevated, we're in the sun. There may not be a lot of shade where we're working. Uh, first whole project trip to Guatemala, we uh, had a couple people get some seriously sunburned scalps, didn't we? So I'm gonna pack a hat as well. Megan, that's pretty much everything. That is. I put my shoes in. I forgot my um, outfit for the plane ride home, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Put that in there. Now listen, I've got everything that I need that's kind of the essentials of packing in my duffel. It's right there. There's still room in here because I want to bring my journal. I'm going to bring a Bible. I'm going to bring a pen. Uh, I'm going to bring some snacks. I'm going to bring a phone charger. 
I'm going to bring some nice headphones, maybe for the flight. I have room now for that stuff in my other personal bag. Snacks, uh, some ibuprofen, Tylenol. I've got plenty of room in a whole other backpack that I can do it. So I'm sliding these flip-flops in this front pocket here just because I like to have something to throw on that's nice and easy to either wear in the bathroom or um, to wear in the evenings. I am going to talk a little bit more about what I put in my personal item. This is my personal item. This will fit in this seat in front of me. Um, I am particular about the kinds of um, snacks I like to have. Right. And so because of that, I bring my own breakfast bars and I bring my own snacks. So these are the breakfast bars that I bring. They'll be in there. Yep. Also, um, I get car sick really easily. That's true. And the roads in Guatemala are windy, mountainous yeah. car rides. And so um, I have found these ginger candies. It's a ginger chew. I can find them at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, yeah. Ross. Order them online. Order them. They're a little bit more expensive if you order them online, but I, um, they're just uh, they're usually by in the checkout lane at those places. But it's just a ginger candy chew, and this will settle your stomach. If you get car sick, Absolutely. you should look for these and and bring these with you because um, they will they work almost instantly yeah. and if you feel like you're going to get car sick this is a really really great thing to have with you yeah so you've got almost everything you could possibly need packed in here uh, toiletries and things like that there's plenty of room for it whole project we're going to provide you with a ton of snacks we're going to provide you with over-the-counter medications uh, we're going to provide you with the sunscreen and the bug spray and the things like that that we know you need on the trip uh, so you, if you're thinking, man, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that, we may already be bringing it. So reach out to us if you're thinking, am I going to need this or not? If you have a comment about how we packed or, or a question about how we packed, throw it in the comments of this video on YouTube or email us. Let us know if you're having a hard time getting everything in the carry-on or the personal item. But we tend to do it 10 to 12 times a year. Yeah. Any other words of advice as they're packing? I bring more underwear than you think. Bring more underwear than <laughs> you think. We'll see you guys in Guatemala in a very short amount of time. We can't wait to serve with you. Uh, it's a pleasure to have anyone be a part of what we're doing through Hope Project International. And so please like this, comment on it, subscribe so you can check out other things we do that are kind of crazy. And we'll see you in a couple weeks.